Now the next company that we're going to take a look at here is Nano X, and it looks to me like they're mostly focusing on AI models for healthcare. So I pulled up their website and you can see they have FDA cleared AI models for healthcare. So this one is for coronary artery disease, AI algorithm that automatically detects coronary artery calcification to identify patients at risk. Here's another one here for bone health algorithm that detects vertebral compression fractures and low bone mineral density to help identify patients at risk. So we have a, a number of different FDA cleared AI models. So they're a data company. They actually own the data um, that they're doing these medical imaging models for. So this is a very interesting uh, company to me. They also have a relatively small market cap, $541 million. Their stock has been a little bit less volatile in the last, so it did jump from six to uh, 12. Uh, you can see my entry point was $10 here. And uh, it's been hovering around those levels since, since it I did that initial jump. I haven't seen who are the partners or this, for example, potentially uh, the investors in this particular company. But I do believe when I was researching NNOX that its cash and liabilities are very good. Out of the three companies, I actually like this one the best. There's one thing I didn't like as far as the geopolitical concerns, which are a concern in regards to investing in startup company said, well, this is an Israeli company. I think it's centered in, I mean, Intel, uh, Intel also, Intel also has huge office in Israel. So I don't think we can say, I mean, Israel obviously is a small country, but nonetheless, it's not like uh, the, the it's level not like of Israel concern is... for me. Yeah. The level of concern for me is very small. The market potential for this, when I was going through their website and looking at their, uh, their financial performance, revenue, cash is, is very good. I think one particular thing, and we can get into this later in regards to the medical field is objectivity. There's a human component for which, um, it is difficult to quantify a lot of what the medical healthcare industry does in regards to treatment of patients. And so AI, um, can analyze and collect an astronomical amount of data that I think will revolutionize health healthcare in many different ways. And so I think that there could be unlimited potential in regards to the image analysis component of artificial intelligence. Let me say that. So I think, for example, using CT scanners to determine patients that are at risk for myocardial infarctions or coronary artery disease and, and heart events and being able to start them on preventative care earlier could revolutionize a lot of healthcare. And a lot of that is basically what happens is, is when you take these pictures, a radiologist will then look at them. So there's still a human component to a lot of this. Even when you provide objective measures on particular images, either x-rays or ultrasounds or CT scans, it's still humans at the end of it that are providing a recommendation. Okay. So if you can get rid of potentially yeah. a human component and just completely objectify it in regards to a protocol, I think that that is very good because, um, it's a, it potentially has a lot of use as well yeah, as absolutely. being able to do it at a low cost. And so yeah. I'll be watching NNOX most closely um, yeah. of the three companies.